Hey guys, what's going on? For today's Random Thursday, we're going to be looking at this game. Oh yeah. I don't know what's, uh, I'm not the best, I'm just going to play I haven't played this game in a really long time. I don't know what's with me and, um, these older games, but, yeah. I like them. So let's go with... Uh, I don't want to play as fan service, I don't want to play as the normal guy. If you want to read that, pause game. Okay. There's attack. There's my jump. How do I, how do I run again? Yeah. How do, I, how do you run again? Oh yeah, I double tap to run. Alright. Oh, that's a good guy. Yeah. Look at those realistic screams. I wonder if this game is the best. It's time. I just love spamming that. You double tap to run, you jump, and then you hold down attack. Get out of here. Give me my magic. Where's my magic? Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess it's A. Alright. Yeah. Bam. No, unlike a lot of most people, I don't really like to... Dang it. I don't like to take those these things. I like running by myself. But give me my magic. The only good thing about these things is that you can spam the heck out of them. And then the enemy will never get up. <laughs> uh, spam, spam, spam. How does this creature not get dizzy? Eat lightning. Um, every every uh, character has their oh, has their own magic thing. This guy has lightning. The the other guy has ground, and the girl has fire. Now the girl's not the strongest, but she got, she has the best magic in the entire game. She can do uh, tons of damage with her magic. It's it's like a lot. Her magic meter goes up to six, I think, instead of three. Although, one is... there's a lot of slots in one. And every every different level of your magic meter has a different animation. So, it's like, collect them all. Uh, bye. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't do that. That was, uh, not good. Okay, let's just, uh, go away. Bye. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Ow. Ah, oh. Because even though that drop is off the map, uh, they can still fall off of it. And I don't know why they're running toward the drop. It makes no sense to me. Right here. Yeah. I just wanted to show you Spazzy Dragon. Right here. <laughs> uh, she keeps trying to get me, but she can't. Ow. Dang it. Yeah. Hi, dragon! Ah! Raw! Raw! Ow! Boom! Oh yeah! Roar! 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 My dragon's not. No! Ah! 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 Magic! Oh yeah, I got full magic now. That's a high jumping dragon. No. No. Come on. There we go. Ah! No! Go away! Aha! Ow. Don't get back on. Don't get back on. Oh. Ow. There's no dodge button. Bam. You did! Oh! oh. Ow. Ah! Lightning of Doom! She's dead. Am 
Fire Dragon. Rawr. <laughs> yeah, the Red Dragons shoot fireballs, and the Blue Dragons will... Yeah, the Blue Dragons will just shoot a little flame spurt. I prefer the Red Dragons only because it keeps my foes at a distance. That's good. And between stages, you get uh, bonus stages like that. Gives you magic and sometimes a little bit of health. Okay, you don't want to go too far down, you will fall off the stage. Okay, come up here, come up here, come on. Come on, come up here. Ah, fine. Yeah, you can fall down there and die. It's a little bit of a jerk move. Okay, I'm gonna get him. Uh, you can fall down. Okay. Oh! Oh! That could have been, uh, pretty bad there. Die. Die. Come and get me. Whoa! Not supposed to happen. Oh no, uh oh, uh oh. I have to do this or I'm gonna die. Every once in a while you get stuck in glitches like that. If I didn't use my magic, I would have died. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ow. There is a way to make him fall off, but just keep right at the edge. Yeah, he's off. He went off the edge. But the second guy you have to fight, you can. Uh. Uh. Oh. Also, if um, if you are charging at an enemy and they hit you, you take double damage. Also works for enemies. So if they are charging at you like that, you hit double damage. That is a self-tested theory. I'm not completely sure if that's accurate. It's just what I've come across, and it seems right. Alright, so... I did not do that right. Oh, come on. I'm not double tapping fast enough. Okay. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, not as good as I used to be at this game. Throw! There we go. Uh, spam the buttons. I win. And he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. <laughs> That's the thing. You can usually spam, if you spam your magic button fast enough, you can usually hit them before they touch you. Also, that guy's. God. This guy is such a pain. You can't jump over him. You gotta. There. If you hit your um, jump, an attack button at the same time, you, ow, you do a special attack, and that's this guy's. It's very useful. <laughs> it's useful, useful against certain bosses you can't jump and hit, like that guy. Such a pain. Oh, and look, I get food after, after I already lost a life. Oh well. And you will not be able to hit those guys more than intended. They will run away. So here we go. Let's jump up, 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 down. Mine! 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 <laughs> oh, you can do this for days. You think they'd take extra damage from falling that far? Nope, they're fine. Oh, it's just fun to do. It's like, it's like playing, uh, what's it called? King of the Hill. But it's not a hill, it's a huge flight of stairs. And I always win. <laughs> now we get to skeletons, the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Because they can take away two bars of your health very fast. But like that. They know that move too. They know this move. That that alone takes away a whole bar of your health. That's only the second most annoying thing they know. 
They also take- they also, uh, when they get up, they delay very slightly, but it's enough for you to miss if you are, um, camping the enemy so they can't get up. They delay very slightly, so when you mix them in with some normal en enemies like this, it becomes very hard to hit them. How did he miss? Alright, I'll take it. Ow. Not as good as this game as I used to be. I used to be able to make it to- I used to be able to almost beat the game in one life. <laughs> oh no! I didn't. Although that was back on a different controller. And I would just spam that one move. Oh! Nope! You do not want to let that move hit. If nothing else, stop the guy you're attacking. You do not want to be hit by that move. It does a whole whack of damage. Yeah, see, I couldn't... I was so used to normally doing that, I couldn't hit him. Ow! Yeah, if the, if the silicon skeleton starts swinging at you, and he hits you on the first one, you're going to take, like, two bars of damage. It's a lot. Ow! Skeletons are one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game because of that. Ugh. Oh yeah, if you have any magic left over at the end of the stage, uh, he'll take it. He'll take two. You can get them back, plus any you would get normally. But you, if, even if I press A now, you cannot use your magic in this stage. So you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing it. I'm going, oh no! Or if you want to use it, tough luck, you can't. I figure we'll go until I ha I lose this life. You do have three continues you can use, which um, do help out a lot. I could probably beat this game because of the amount of continues, but I'm not going to. Oh, hit me off, hit me off, hit me off. Thank you. Don't get back on, don't get back on. Ah, no! Okay, there. Now hit me off. Thank you. Now it's gone. And out. OUT THE MAP! Oh, alright. OUT THE MAP! Thank you. OUT THE MAP. Now. Ah. OUT THE MAP. OUT THE MAP. Now. Ow. NOT FAIR! <laughs> Luckily, in, uh, in the game, if two enemies have you like that, there is a feature where you will just eventually fall down. Uh, so it does save you a little bit of health sometimes. Got an inch over. Okay, now with these guys, my strategy is move the screen over to the right as little as possible. And then what you can do is you can do this. And you can headbutt the left guy off the stage. And you don't have to fight them. Because these are the most annoying enemies in the entire game. The recolors of these guys. Or if you're really tricky, you can go like that. You will you will go under his swing. Which is very lucky. In stage six, you get a whole whack of magic pots here. Look at that. There's six magic pots in the ground. And I don't even have to use them. I can go like this, and then go, oh there's a guy here. We have another one, another one. Pick up the rest of the four, and I got full magic again. And you're dead. Oh no! I don't want to die here. I want to at least fight. Uh, I want to at least beat Death Adder. Uh, oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! No! No! I will beat Death Adder. Oh yes, he's stuck. Although. The, enemy, the enemies do have, uh, if they're stuck, they will eventually fall down too. It is a good feature to, to have. It really is good. Yes. Yes, he's dead. And there's Death Adder right there. That big guy right there. Nice, nice armor there, Death Adder. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I died. Uh, you know what? We're continuing. We're gonna, we're gonna play until I beat Death Adder. 
and then I think we're gonna call it a game. Even though there is more game after that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, let's get rid of the skeleton and just fight him. There we go. Now he will do that, and he will spam that forever. But luckily, that doesn't leave him wide open to this. Bam! And he will do it again. Uh, I don't know why his pattern breaks like this. So, uh, you can just, uh, spam the heck out of this, and then, uh, he'll die. <laughs> uh, I don't know why... Eh, easy. I don't know. But, after a bunch of, uh, text, you, uh, win this part. do to do to do Sometimes he disappeared into that door. He was probably taking orders. Blah 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 blah. Alrighty. So, I don't know, should I continue? Uh, yeah, I decided. I, I'm gonna continue. Let's see if we can beat this game. Off the edge. Yeah, this is the most painful stage in the game. Just because you can fall off everywhere. And that makes it super annoying. These skeletons. It'll charge you. But it's gonna do something else. Ah, there are so many enemies. There we go. Uh, yes, they will hit the thieves, so they will drop magic. So I can just do it again. Because <laughs> I don't know why, but there are thieves right after this guy. Like, there are thieves during this, and then as soon as you beat this guy, there are more. I'm not sure if that's a, a bug, or if that was intended to be that way, for, like, if the girls at this part, because that's an easy, like, ten magic pots right there. That'll almost fill her magic. And I do, I do prefer this version to the updated 2000-some uh, version, I think. It's 2000-something. I do prefer this version to that version, because in the, in, the, uh, in the updated version, you gain magic by defeating enemies, which I don't think is a good... I don't think that's a good um, way to get magic. Because that means you can spam the heck out of your magic. You defeat like a few enemies. Oh, have a magic pot. So yeah, I I don't like really like that. And every single every single uh, magic thing you get in the new one gives you a new level. So you don't have to strategically plan out when you're going to use your magic. Oh yeah, this is uh, okay, good. this is uh, Deathbringer. And. Uh, the annoying part is, you can never kill his skeletons. Either that, or they have an absurd amount of health. Because, I mean, I swear, I've beaten- I've killed a skeleton before. But it wasn't with this guy, it was with the girl. But, I don't know. So, he, you just fighting off his minions while he does nothing. So I think the best strategy is to keep those guys there and then just hit this guy. It doesn't always work. And you you can get camped by his magic. If you get knocked down by something before he does his magic, oh, like that. Like that, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he has magic of his own. And it hurts. He will use all three of the main character's sources of magic. So, ooh, but only if he knocks you down with one of those. Oh, or if he knocks you down in general. Yep, yeah, see, that's my level 2 magic. Wanna see my level 3 magic? Mine's better! <laughs> Camp him! Oh no! I missed. Oh no. Yep, yeah, if, if his skeletons knock you down, it doesn't count. He will not use his magic. Only if he does. But his axe hurts. And like that, the skeleton knocked me down, but he swung. So the game counts it as he knocked me down. This guy is such a... 
pain. But this is what I like in a final boss. Own! Oh, Aw, no. oh, eat your own axe. It's my throne now. Oh, I'm in here. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too much longer. Oh, I don't know. I, that took me like 20 minutes to beat to beat the entire game. But that's after playing this game for a really long time. I first played this game when I was about 10 years old, and my parents didn't want me to. It was with a, uh, one of those, you know, like, you, you, you have those things they plug into your TV, like the audio video, and then it gives you, like, a controller and you can play games. I got one of those for a Sega Genesis Classics. It had Sonic the Hedgehog, Ultra Beast, Golden Axe, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Flicky, and Kid Chameleon. Oh, I gotta play Kid Chameleon. That reminds me, I am playing Kid Chameleon on a random Thursday. Maybe next time. I am playing Kid Chameleon, though. I got him. That game is so good. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, major, 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 major sidetrack here. You, this is the credits, and it tells you all about the guys. Their, their height, their weight, their attack, and move level. The, uh, it's based on the grading system. Attack level just determines how much damage they do, and I don't know what move level is. They all seem to move the same. I, I don't know. Maybe it's... Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. So, yeah. They're not just recolors, guys. They have their own names. Ugh, the girls are painful. Yeah. Although we did only have to face off against one of the black ones. One or, one or two. That's why I didn't want to let them hit me. They are, apparently they're a little bit less in move level, but they are very painful. Attack level B, move level B? No, it should be A and A. Or like A plus and A plus. Those guys are annoying. I was only lucky because I have a lot of experience with this game. Bad brothers. That's not attack level C, that should be attack level B at least. They hit you with their hammer and that takes out a bar. Dang. Lieutenant Bitter. Colonel Bitter. Sergeant Malt and Sergeant Hop. I don't know if these are references to anything, I'm not sure. General Heartland, General Bitter, General Heartland, that sounds like something. General Bitter, it's like made of gold, all this stuff is made of gold. Chicken Leg, uh, Specialty Wagging Tail. They didn't, they didn't put, they probably didn't put Tail Whip, because uh, Pokemon, it's a new Pokemon, Chicken Leg. <laughs> Yeah, Blue Dragon Flame, Red Dragon Fireball. I think they do the same amount of damage, I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing is the um, Fireball's projectile. Belongings, Pot, and Meat. Uh, it's just Pot. It's, just, it's not even Magic Pot, it's just Pot. He just has a Pot. Villager A, Villager B. 67 pounds, that's really light. He's a young kid. Death Adder Jr. Oh yeah, we didn't face off against him. Because that's in uh, beginner mode. In beginner mode, there's three stages of the game and you face off against that guy at the end. Then we have Death Adder. Uh, Death Adder harmed one of the uh, main three characters' families in some way, and that's why they go on a revenge against him. And that's Deathbringer. The jerk. Although he is a very good final boss, I can see a lot of people losing tons of lives at him. The Axe Battler, Tyrus Flare, and Gilius Thunderhead. I love, I really love how it doesn't say her weight. <laughs> it's funny to me. And it's just King and Princess. They don't have weights either, they don't weigh anything. Uh. Although I do like that it says like their height and weight and their specialty, it gives more character to games that really didn't give character to their characters back in the 90s. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, skip this credit scene, because it's just, it's just a bunch of this again and again and again. So that's it for this Red Up Thursday. Ugh. Ugh, I'm yawning a bit. I'm tired. 
that's it for uh, this random Thursday, guys. I will see you next week with maybe Kid Chameleon. Depends. It depends. Oh, I can't. I can't do that though. It's not random then. Oh well. It, it'll be random. Okay. I'll just like I <laughs> literally bleep myself out <laughs> for every time I say that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That'd be such a waste of time. Although next Thursday it might be Kid Chameleon. It might not be. So, I will see you guys for the next video, which will be... Well, next video is Saturday for the skit. See you guys then.